We've seen that a thermostat works by detecting the change in resistance of a thermistor as the temperature changes. Thermistors come in lots of different shapes and sizes, but we're going to look at a design that's still commonly used at school called a rod thermistor. So how does this thermistor's resistance change with temperature? Does it stay constant and then suddenly drop, or does it change smoothly in a straight line, or something else? Let's investigate. We're going to change the temperature of the thermistor and find out what happens to its resistance. We'll start off with some chilled water and then gradually heat it using a Bunsen flame. We'll use a temperature probe to measure the temperature of the water and connect the thermistor to a multimeter set to measure resistance directly. Normally, we'd try not to mix water and electricity, but we're okay here because everything is run by battery, not the mains. Though we do need to be careful with the hot water and the Bunsen flame. As the temperature of the water increases, we can see that the resistance of the thermistor decreases. And if we plot resistance versus temperature, we can see that the decrease is a smooth curve, not a straight line. Its resistance changes quickly at around the temperature we're interested in, say 20 degrees Celsius. And this means we can detect small changes in temperature and control the heating to within half a degree or so. At higher temperatures that we'd rarely end up setting, like 40 degrees Celsius, it's much less sensitive. 